Hey, dudes! This is Gibmaker, and I am playing Exunt Omnis, which is a visual novel by Hasfers. So I'm just gonna bust it out. Gonna bust right in. Welcome! In tutorial mode, there will be help messages to guide you through the interface. Check on text balloons or press space to close them before you can do anything else. And yeah, well, finally you have caught up. I presume that you met my friends on the way? Your minions? The loyal ones are dead. Many were loyal. Hmm? Such a shame. They were good people in the end. Nevertheless, please come at my table. There is much to discuss. No. I won't sit through another of your games. A game? That's not how I used to see it, but... In the end, I suppose that you are right. This art is really good. Was this all drawn? Custom? In fact, you are going to let me go. Huh? Am I? And why would I do that? Three reasons. D Help! The sphere is a statement. Click it, or the adjacent link, and your character will say something on this topic. Once used by a character, this statement is circled in their color. Okay. So... I know a little bit about this project because I've read the project page, but when I play a, a game, I like to go in kind of uh, ignorant, so... All I know about this game is that it's kind of, you have arguments, but the act of arguing is represented by this kind of board game thing. So, let's see what's going on. Let's, let's click on a statement. You don't want to hurt me. You need me. Okay, so you are actually... You are actually choosing a statement. It's not like a kind of game of... Small red and blue spheres are emotional effects. Right-click the portrait of your opponent. This is the portrait. Okay. Let's, it says right-click. It doesn't work. Right-clicking doesn't work. What am I supposed to right-click on? Do I right-click there? Do I right-click myself? That's my opponent. What? Oh. So I'm villain? Hero looks angry, low empathy, and confident. High territory. What does territory mean? Uh... Okay, menu. It's under help. Rhetorics! Guide for the perplexed. Oh boy, okay, I should... I gotta just learn what's going on here. The nodes are statements connected by arguments. The color filling no reflects your belief in it. Positives. Okay, so basically... Whether or not I, uh... I personally have confidence in the statement. Or, like, whether or not I know it's a lie. Click on another character's portrait to see the conversation through their eyes. Notes will be colored by their beliefs as you have estimated them from their reaction. You can thus see how your arguments alter your opponent's mindset. Oh! Okay, I can see the opponent's Im opinions when I know them. I've been drinking Almond Baileys because I haven't tried it before and the bottle is really pretty with flowers on it. It's kind of gross. 
I think I only like original Baileys. Every time they add something to it, they make it gross. So this is a lot to try and digest all at once. All right, my opponent's opinions, when I know them, to white, cannot select new statements here. Maybe I should just kind of blunder through, choose something, and see what happens. Okay. Red means I don't actually believe the statements, so I'm going to choose this one. You don't want to hurt me. You are not going to hurt me if you can't avoid it. Ha! What makes you think so? We know each other better than anyone. What does blue mean? Compliments. Too many have been hurt. Alright. Help. Let's read another topic. What's arguments? Argument links go from a premise to a conclusion. They can have the same or different colors on each end, representing belief values. The color at the source is a condition. The color at the end is an effect. If their color at the source matches the dominant color of the premise, they modify your belief in the conclusion. If the condition on the premise is unsatisfied, oh my god! Is there a tutorial that kind of brings up this stuff one concept at a time? That would be good. If the condition on the premise is unsatisfied, the argument can be made hypothetically, but it has no effect at the moment. Uh, well, let's compliment. Let's let's do the flattery. You are a good person. The simplest reason is that despite everything, you are a good person. Despite everything, a eh? but yes, yes, I am. If only you were half as good as me. Your last argument modified the opinion of your opponent on another statement. As soon as you close this message, a small warning will indicate the affected nodes. Click on your opponent's portrait to check her new opinion. Oh. Um. Okay, so the opponent no longer believes you are going to let me go and has lessened confidence. Or actually, what was it before? I forgot to check. Maybe she gained confidence in that statement. And like, what are these? What are these green and yellow? Alright. Next topic. Actions. Click on an unclaimed node or link to select it. It will be circled in white until you claim it using perform in the turn box. Then circled in the color of your character. You can only claim arguments from the current topical zone. Every statement is displaces the topic and uses up some of your speech turn once you turn. Okay, so... So... So because it's red... That means I don't believe this. Because this is blue, it says it's remembrance. Okay, another problem is that the, um... The... The... Hit boxes? or whatever the term is when using this engine. It's like, I hover over this blue thing, nothing's happening, but then sometimes, there we go. If I put the mouse just below it, it shows me what that means. So that is kind of mixed up. Or maybe it's just my monitor because I put it into full screen and that screwed it up somehow. It looks like all the hitboxes are slightly below what they're supposed to be. We know each other better than anyone. Okay, and turn. Dots! She tenses as if to say something, or rush towards you, cut you off for good, but she doesn't. She's angry at you for stalling, but perhaps grateful as well. So she said nothing. So she skipped her turn, pretty much. Okay. We share a bond, don't we? Memories and a common bird, and the closest thing either of us ever got to intimacy. We are not so different, you and I. Trying to make me go sentimental now. She tries to act cynical, but acting was never her strongest point. Opinion changed. 
Right, and now these... Now these arrows are pointing... away. What is the goal? What's the end goal? We share a memory, we share a burden. Um, we have been shaped by similar experiences. Being the one who stands for something, the one who takes charge. Okay, now the problem is I was just kind of thrown into um, this dialogue. I don't know who these characters are, where they came from. I know that's kind of the point. It's a bit of in media res. Um, which may not have been the best idea for this, J this game, because it's a little bit... Uh, like, I'm struggling with the mechanics of the, the puzzle here, for one thing. While at the same time, I can't really roleplay within the situation either, because I have no idea what's going on. I suppose I'll just choose more of these. We share a memory! You have no right to call it your home, do you? Dots. Although she remains distant, her anger seems to have resorbed. She stands still now, aloof but not tense. End turn. Nothing happened. Well, can I choose any of these? Or am I only supposed to go to, like, the new ones? Like, are these no longer relevant? Yeah, I can choose any of them. Can I choose that one? You need me? Okay, well, that made Imp go down. <laughs> okay, and I can... I can tumble it around. What's that? Oh, maybe this is where I'm trying to get to. What's this? Okay, strange. I think we're trying to get towards one of these. Why can't I click on that one? I have secrets. There are many things that you have been wondering about, and you won't get any answer from my corpse. Don't hope to seduce me just like that. Click on this one now? Yes! You must often have wondered, is that the reason for all this? Are you responsible? Hero suddenly glares at you. You can see that your influence on her is growing. She is starting to listen for real, to ponder what you are saying. Alright, I'm going to expose myself to another help topic. Ethos and path pathos. Statements can affect the emotional state of characters and their relationships. You'll need to mind three attributes. Face, representing image and influence. Is that the yellow thing here? Territory, representing emotional stability. Is that the green? Empathy, representing familiarity. And is that... I don't have a blue thing, so... Does it correspond? What does it correspond to? Low value of any fact can prompt the end of the conversation. Special exit statements are also unlocked by some values of the three factors. Okay. So I think we're treating these kind of like health. Um, also, this must be the, the one of the special exits. They will open up if something happens. So let's keep traveling. I can't. I mean, is this is this the engine glitching, or is there an actual reason why I can't choose this? Maybe it's because it's outside this kind of, this circle that's a bit lighter? That means I can't choose it? In that case, the only other... Can I choose that? No. This is the only other thing I can choose. Oh. My turn is over. Your motivation are not as original as you claim. All you've ever wanted was revenge, heh? No, I have never held a grudge against you for anything. On the contrary. Don't try to confuss me. I interrogated your minions before. Of course they would tell you that. They needed reasons they could understand. Oh, so these are her... These are her arguments. Why is it green, then? My motivation is revenge. 
Because if these are arguments the hero added, it's the first time that that's happened. Because this is the only other thing to do. I think the time has come for me to tell you my reasons, my plan. What do you mean? Uh... Okay, does the physical location of this mean anything? I'm gonna try to navigate towards it. Except I can't choose that! Can I choose this? Getting you to meet me face to face. That was the last part of the plan. No way! She looks less confident now. You can see that your words are getting to her. Now, can I choose this? You are the only one who can understand. You always were. There could never be a plan if not for you. And now... I'm completely out of... Oh, right. End turn. Okay. Whatever you have planned, I can't help you. To reach you, I had to kill your so-called friends. Even you wouldn't have sent them to your deaths just to lure me here, dot dot dot. Okay. Let's try clicking here for a second. So, mechanically, what does white mean? Does that mean I'm winning? Like, not within, not within the fiction of the game, which is like, whether I believe it or not. Does white mean I'm winning? That's what I want to know. Is my goal to get them white? I'm pretty sure. Although, like, they can be white for her and for me at the same time. Golly! Alright. You have already helped me enough. That one is for you. What? You're a distant commotion. What is that noise? My friends are on their way. I am humoring you, but they won't. Then I will get to the point. Five turns left. She is warming up to you. She never was cool-headed enough to keep her distance. You have always envied her that... Exit. The first time we met unlocked. So I can shoot straight there if I want. I guess I'm gonna do that. Oh. I still have to, like, move this highlighted spot over there. Uh, well, how do I do that? I can't click on it. What's left to click on? There's nothing left to click on. Game! Oh, end turn. Well, except I still have time left. If I have time left, but nothing left to click, I guess I have to end the turn? Okay, there we go. It's starting to move over. Now can I click there? I can't do anything. So no one's saying anything. We're just standing here looking at each other. End turn. Nothing happened. What the hey? Shortcuts. Arrows. Do do do. Okay, so... What's going on? can't do anything. Oh! How did I move it? I don't know what happened. I, I clicked haphazardly and somehow made it shift over there. Oh well. The plan began the first time we met. Dusk. The sun setting on the bridge. With the noises of town in the distance. I think I remember. You were sitting on the parapet. And you were coming home late with hands full of stolen berries. You asked me if I was fine. 
You weren't. That much was obvious. You did ask, nevertheless. I gave you a smile. You gave me berries. And you went off running. That night I had a dream. Uncannily vivid. The following evening, when I came back, you were there already. So I told you my dream, and you listened. It was the first story I ever told. The first of many. Indeed. That dream. Do you remember it? That one in particular of all your stories six years ago? Hmm, yes, I guess you don't. She smiles wryly. Gotcha! Of course I do. Not all the details, of course, but I had never heard a story like that before. A story where... Oh. Her eyes widen suddenly. No, no, no. That's it, isn't it? <laughs> the dream. That's the plan? The whole of it? Your silence is confession enough. A story. A story where... A sickly little girl can be the hero. But why would you... Nothing else to give in exchange for all those berries. It was a success, wasn't it? Did I do well? She stares at you for a long time. Then... She holds out a hand. Dot, dot, dot. You take it. Ending number four. Oh! A dream all along. Oh! So, okay. That was the entire game. Thank you for furthering the cause of villainous dialectics. Now for an evaluation of your rhetorical talents. Hero belief changed 19, villain claims 14. Well, are, are those numbers good or bad? 19 out of what? Emotional tally, total face effects, total territory effects. I'm guessing negative is bad. That means I, I lost territory. Can't references. I missed all the can't. Can't and vanity. You got 95 thesis, but this spade changed one. Alright. Okay, that was interesting. Um, honestly, I thought this was just sort of the first, uh, the first stage of what was going to be a much longer game that used, um, kind of several such arguments like that to kind of make a, a story happen. I guess it is just the one scenario, which makes sense because it seems like something like that would take a hell of a lot of time to write. I know from personal experience that writing branching dialogue takes about a million times as long as just writing one, uh, one dialogue straight through. So especially to gamify it like that, um, with all the different choices you can make and all the branches that it can take. It's pretty good. So yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened there in that ending. It's like, uh, did Villain make it all up? I really don't know. That's another thing I assumed. I assumed that we were just getting dropped into this scenario as a kind of prologue, a kind of in media res prologue to a longer game and so it was, it's kind of okay if I didn't understand where everything came from um, and who the hero and villain were. But then the game ended and I still really don't. I feel like I missed something. And that ending suggests that the whole thing didn't happen. It was a dream. What the heck happened? I'm just going to start over. No tutorial. Okay, so oh, we got big Asian town. Finally, you have caught up. 
I presume that you met my friends on the way. All right. So I am villain is talking. I think your minions, the loyal ones, are dead. So that's hero. Many were loyal. Hmm. So. Or is that me talking? Dots. Okay, Hero, one of her speech tropes is dots. She does that a lot, so that's probably Hero talking. Speech text at the top is Hero. Such a shame. They were good people in the end. So what? I'm some kind of warlord? And I have an army? Nevertheless, please come at my table. There's much to discuss. No! And this Hero has fought her way through... I won't sit through another of your games. Oh, but it is a game. That's not how I used to see it, but... In the end, I suppose that you are right. Okay, so it's kind of an archetypal... I guess it's an archetypal story. So we don't really need to know the details of who these people are. It's just, it's a hero who fought through... A bunch of minions belonging to me. Okay. Uh, this story cannot exist without me. I have a role to play in this story, a role which no one else could play in my stead. Hero smirks a little. But only I have free will. All characters' tale. Only I am my own actor, my own writer. I have a free will in a way that you will never experience. Humph! <laughs> What's that even supposed to mean? Um. But I can't choose. Alright, end turn. I keep forgetting about that. Sure, you're going to tell me that the world couldn't do without. You're going to one less villain. Like evil is necessary for good to exist or something. No, I would not put it like that. Whoa! The nature... can't choose that. This is the only one that I can choose. The story starts when I mess with the status quo. The hero only reacts to the fait accompli. Heroes fight for retribution. Can I get that one? No, it's too far away. You become a hero by fighting back, not by fighting forward. Uh, nothing else I can choose. I guess I'll just end the turn. You think it's disparaging to say we only react to your crimes. But what that truly means is that heroism is a force of balance. You are the action. We are the equal and opposite reaction. Uh, maybe I'll... Choose this one... Every hero is a victim. Dead mentor, raised village, your cause is never more than your wronged feelings. Act to anger and pain. Opinion changed. I keep forgetting to check this. But you know, the fact that I keep forgetting to check it... It's kind of a hint that I don't know how to use this information. A force of balance? No, a force of stagnation. Your crusade against anything that doesn't fit the values you have been taught. She looks less confident now. You can see that your words are getting to her. Do I have to end my turn again? I think I have to end the turn. Okay. Dots! She tenses as if to say something. We'll rush towards you, cut you off for good, but she doesn't... She's angry at you for stalling, but perhaps grateful as well? This is the one I'll choose. The epics are the basest form of propaganda. Modern ones are all about finding who you are, unless that happens to be something bad. In which case you deserve to be killed by a knight in shining armor. Dots. Empathy critically low. You are not winning me over. Okay, so, but there's an exit here. Oh, low territory, okay. So is, maybe this is just a losing path, and I'm not going to win. But anyway, i got nothing else to do. 
No argument within reach. Distant commotion. What is that noise? Friends are on their way. I'm humoring you, but they won't. Okay. So I think territory. The point of territory is to increase the size of the radius that I can get to, which might have let me reach this one. What would you be without me? That could be useful. That could be useful. I wouldn't be so sure about it. Uh, you don't want to hurt me. Okay, this is... I started the first time I went this way. She tries to act cynical, but acting was never her strongest point. Uh, Alright. Which one's our territory? Plus one, or something like that. Why can't I reach anything? Can I screw up? Oh! Somehow I moved it over there. So can I... can I click these to move the... the, the, the topic? Okay. I'm not really paying attention to the writing right now. I just kind of want to spam it a bit to uh, to investigate how it works. What do you mean? Uh, let's try going... no time. Try heading to the right. Don't try and confuss me. I've interrogated your minions before. Can I force it over here? What if I click there? Okay, opinion changed. But so what? What does it mean that opinion changed? Okay, once again I'm out of options. Alright, so can I... Can I move along the arrows? Is that what the arrows mean? Or do I move against the arrows? It moved, but why? I have left an uneasiness in her... Close on that one. <laughs> you are a good person. You see, th these are the same. I used all these choices last time. I wanted to do something different. Uh. There's nothing else to pick over here. turn. Time exhausted. I hear your friends coming. They are. Dots. Prefer to end this myself. Thank you. Dots. Could you be less gracious about this? You are alone. Cornered. You could at least show some emotion. Well, it was pleasant while it lasted. The terrible thing is... I am sorry. It's fine. The funny thing is, I am not. Ending number one. Presuming that's the fail state. Ending. Okay. Hero belief change 20. That's better than last time, though. Face effect, okay. Crappy territory effect. Still no can't. What was my final score last time? I don't remember. I think it was in the 700s. So I did much more poorly. Bond villain. Alright. So that's an interesting premise. Um, 
two main problems. First of all, um, it's a little bit sticky in terms of the controls. I feel like um, I was just clicking around randomly a lot of the times because the hitboxes for clicks weren't exactly lined up right. That could be because I'm playing it full screen. Maybe, um, maybe Rampy is like that. Um, second problem, it's just confusing! Um, I kind of, like, this, this is a really good experiment. Really nifty and for, for a single kind of, uh, for an experimental game, very good presentation. Um, so that is a plus. Excellent presentation. The, the graphics are good and sort of evoking the sense of setting that this is sort of a, an epic, it's a, what's the word, like the epic, uh, I'm not going to try to guess what the word is. There's a word for sort of stories like this. Um, very archetypal, we don't know the characters' names, but they're, they're archetypes. Um, yeah. Whatever. So that's it. That's Exeunt Omnis. I think if they want to make it into kind of a bigger game with more conversations, it would probably be better because then you could start off with some very simple ones to start as kind of a tutorial and kind of ease you into it and introduce concepts one at a time. Uh, 